Well, they took a lot longer than I had anticipated. <laughs> Who thought making a building that's partly falling over would take so much? Unfortunately, I didn't realise I didn't have replay running while I was working out this bit, taking it, building it up, taking it down, building it up, taking it down. It's actually a lot harder to make a building that's looking like it's slipping sideways than I thought it would be. Oh, I haven't put anything in these upper windows. I will. I will. There's no interiors yet either. Well, there's the beginnings of interiors. We've at least got this floor, that one, and we've got this one marked out. There's going to be an attic space. And yet this house, second floor, no, well, first floor, that's the ground floor. This is the first floor, no glass. Glass was really expensive. Most people couldn't afford it. This house is lucky to have glass on the lower floors. Maybe when this house was built and things were good, there was glass up here, but the shifting of the house over the years has caused it to break under stress and they just haven't had the money to replace it. Or maybe there never was glass up there. I don't know. And this one is in much the same state. I may as well close that. So again, we can come up here. There's the first floor marked out and we've got attic space. Now I could go down there. Each house has got a lower floor. This one I've just shifted in here. I nearly got blown up by a creeper. But the little narrow passageway between these houses. Let's have a look. Down we come onto a private jetty, which I'm sure the people in this house initially thought was theirs. But here's the thing. This city, I say it every time, buildings are going up so fast, I'm still getting lost. I think I know my way. And then new buildings go in. <laughs> there are some very well-trod little alleys in this place between here and the storage area because I know how to go that way. <laughs> but, I mean, this is all going to be built up. And I did want to put this build somewhere where there are already lots of houses, but space is of such a premium that quick and the dead, <laughs> I missed my opportunity. <laughs> so pretend there's buildings there and this was a little bit of blank space next to someone's private um, landing and an opportunist has come in. We're about to make a building site. Let's get going. Right, I've got some more orange terracotta on to cook. I want the glazed. I'll just get rid of these. Oh, and I'll grab some dirt and fill this in. We need this filled in with dirt. And we'll dig out what's within the perimeters. Oh, here was me thinking I had all the prep done. Oh, finally I'm ready. So let's work out. No, I don't like those. I don't want those. I want that. And what was the fourth one? That one. No, I don't want that. Okay, let's get rid of these. Also going to mix a little bit of granite in. Was it that one? It was. So what I'm building here is a building site. Because in this city, things are going up all the time. There will always be something somewhere being built. And we do actually want... Do we actually want the red one? That one. Yeah, we want some of that mixed in. Yeah, that's that. Okay, I've got to take into account... Um, I know the word. Doorways, windows. That's the word I want. Oh, it's going to be one of those days. So we'll put... 
we'll take that out and we'll put that in and we'll make a window there and a window there that looks good and we've got to build up the back as well oh do we build up the side yes we build up the side don't be silly we don't build up that we do build up this oh look I know it doesn't look like it but we don't worry about that I do actually know what I'm doing miracle I know and there we are, ground floor frame in, maybe. Now I think it's done, although every time I look at it, I think, no, I need to change this, I need to change that. <sighs> all right, so why are they shipping in all this granite from the quarry? That is because of this. So this is our next bit. These people have got uh, someone who can't remember what they're doing. There we go, delusions of grandeur. That's the words I wanted, delusions of grandeur. Right, there'll be a door there. Why have they got delusions of grandeur? Because they seriously are building a tower. No, that's wrong. Oh, just take them off your hot bar. Okay. Those two, that one, another one there. Two more there, one there and one there. But the next thing I have to build is a tower. So I'll get rid of this and we'll get on with building a tower. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. I like the stone brick. Uh, I tried it with the granite wall. I like the stone brick wall. I tried it with the granite wall and it was all a bit same, same. And also granite wall only comes in that texture, not in granite brick texture. It should come in granite brick texture. It doesn't. I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to replace it with falling in the water. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not going to replace it with that. Ow! Oh. Okay, that's what those purple flowers are. All right, I find out. Okay, let's remove that. Do I have... Do you know, I think a stone brick stair would look nice there. I think that's what we'll do. I also think we will run a support beam across here and I'll grab some bits and bobs. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not great, but I've done it again. Ugh. I tell you, I'm going to die on those berry bushes. Now what we need is some stairs going up. Oh. Okay, let's try that again. What we need is some stairs going up. Let's try that. Yes, it's a little precarious at the moment, but this is a building site. It's allowed to be precarious. Now what we need next and I know this is going to look a little weird. Just bear with me. We're putting up another layer. And we are putting holes in the sides. And I'll show you why in a minute. We need one more on this side. Oh, just enough. Right, so we've got these little holes. They are for something very specific. But before we get to the specifics of those, 
we need to do something with this. We need supports. I think we'll put them every two should be nice. Oh, we need some more. And we need the same on the other side. There. Oh, we need a lot more over here. Right, now we've got our supports done, we need to start adding a framework. And I know what you're thinking, there's the jettying, this is going to be a normal little building. Not quite, let's strip this, because this is all new wood. And we need some through the centre of the building. So, one here. I'm sure they're looking at this while they're building and thinking, let's prevent that. <laughs> and I think next door's about to lose their window and part of their roof. That's going to make neighbourly relations interesting. I think it's time to put a floor in here and I think the beam floor is the way to go. So we've got upside downstairs underneath and a flat floor on top. You saw me do this over at the ostlery. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm happy. Which means we can just about take care of the interior down here. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Oh, go away. So what we're doing is putting in a path floor which does mean dirt has splattered up the walls in here, but that's okay. Alright, remove that. Let's make some piles of granite. Alright, so let's put some light amongst the darkness. Good enough. All right, so the bottom floor is basically a work site still. But that still begs the question of what these holes are for. I'm going to show you. All right, before I show you what those holes are for, if you know what they're for, stick it in the comments below. Pause this video and stick it in the comments below. Okay. All paused, all written. Let's go have a look. Uh, we'll go across here again. Let's see if I can avoid the berry bushes. Yes. That's what the holes are for. Scaffolding and cranes. So you've got the holes there so you can more easily attach or more securely attach all the scaffolding and everything and have less risk of it falling down. And if you live within striking, oops, if you live within striking distance of a castle, and you can actually go and visit it. See if you can spot the holes in the walls going up. If not, have a look online, find good pictures of castles if you can spot them there. Let's pop up and have a look. So this is a much smaller crane than the ones over in the quarry, but it operates on the same principles. So it's for smaller loads, but you know, someone gets in the tread wheel and using only that power they can lift weights that are many times their own and as the tower grows you dismantle this little portable crane and you move it further up and further up and further up the big ones over at the quarry can also be dismantled and moved further up but they would be for much larger structures like castles or cathedrals things with really big thick walls like the walls on castles are on average six meters thick and I've actually got a series that I'm making and hopefully it'll be out soonish about castles and all the different parts of them and how they were made and that sort of thing so stay tuned for that if you're watching in the future there should be a link in the top right hand corner but for those of you watching right here and now in January 2021 Stay tuned. So we've got granite that's been unloaded from the barge which has come round from the quarry. We've got some of the granite being dressed here. We've got dressed granite going up. 
and we've also got beams being prepared for in the tower and for making the roof and it'll just be another roof like this well hopefully not like that hopefully more like that one a bit more sturdy a bit less oh look I'm leaning over and the cheeky builders are using next door's awning they've set up their furnaces here and I'm sure they take shelter there when it rains we might pop over to the bridge and have a look there we go that's not bad so no matter what goes on here in the city there will always be a building site with a new house underway so there are end cards on the screen now to some more of my videos because I have to go off and do a huge resource gathering session which will be very dull because next time, I know I said last time we'd be working with the thaumaturgical field this time. Next time, honestly, we really, 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 really will be. I just put it off because I'd already done one big resource gathering session and I still wasn't ready and the next one should knock it over. So I'll see you over at the field next time. Bye!